compliance because they know Canadians like to do what they're told. So they tell you you have to wear a mask. Next, they're going to tell you you have to contact trace. Then they're going to tell you you have to take the vaccine. And because Canadians like to do what they're told, they're hoping that everyone just complies. And then guess what, kids? Once you take your vaccine, like a dumb person that doesn't know any better, they're going to tell you, sorry, the vaccine isn't as effective as we thought it was going to be. So now you still got to wear your mask, still got to get contact trace, still have all the restrictions and social distancing, and still take your vaccine. And then what did you get out of all of this? You got a whole year where you weren't allowed to travel, your business was closed, they took your rights and freedoms, they forced the vaccine on you, and what happened? The same amount of people died, everything is the exact same, and now they're going to put you back on lockdown and bring it all the way till July of next year so they can do the same thing again. Bring you from July, August, and September, getting you off lockdown, but just to bring you back on lockdown again. If you idiots haven't figured it out yet, it's a perpetual cycle that you never get out of. And it's a way to take your rights, your freedoms, close your business, take your wealth. Why? So you become dependent on government. Why? If you're independent, the government works for you like it's supposed to. If you depend on the government to give you a paycheck to feed your family every month because they closed your business on you, now the government doesn't work for you. The government rules you. So instead of a middle class, we have the government, upper class, and the lower class dependents that rely on the government to survive. In other words, we have a slave class, and that's what they're trying to do. It's that simple.